hi guys welcome back again to the channel today we are going to make a long sleeve for this top so basically we are learning how to cut a long sleeve so guys the basic measurement we need for this tutorial is the round armhole divided by two the bicep measurement which is the biggest part of the sleeve the elbow measurement and the wrist measurement the round wrist measurement and the elbow measurement and then the biceps which is here the biggest part of the arm so to place my fabric on fold i'm going to make use of my armhole depth that is the, the round armhole divided by two my round armhole is 16 divided by 2 is 8. This is 8 inches here plus extra 2 inches allowance. So that is what I will use to place my fabric on fold. I will cut one sleeve and use it to trace the second sleeve. So guys, before we continue, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch. Okay? Thank you so much. So I'm going to mark one inch here and this will be my starting point line. From this line, I'll take my vertical measurement from shoulder to the elbow measurement, which is 13 inches. Take your measurement to be sure. So from this line again to the length of the sleeve, which is the wrist area, is 22 inches. And then I'll be adding 2 inches extra for hemming allowance, making it 24 inches. So this is my elbow line. And this is the length. Having gotten these lines, the next step is to add my armhole depth, which is 8 inches. On this line, I'll measure my armhole depth 8 inches and mark and on that point i'll come down by four inches standard four inches i make use of four inches for all my sleeve and it works very well so it's a constant for me so i'll come down by four inches and mark so remember this is my eight inches armhole depth so i'll connect the line like this and the simple thing I'll do is to connect from here to here with a curve, just like an S shape, S shape curve. Or you can make use of this ruler if you have one. So I'll just place my ruler like this and I'll connect like so. Just take note of what I'm doing. Once I connect like this, from here to here, I'll just place my ruler like this and join it together so this is what i have you can also do that with your free hand just place your hand like this make a sharp s shape down to this point and then this line will be your armhole curve so that it will rhyme with the armhole curve there do you understand so having gotten my shape here I'm going to add my sewing allowance of one inch. One inch sewing allowance here. So, having done that, I'm going to measure three inches from that point. And I'll add my bicep measurement. That is measurement here at this point, which is the biggest part. Mine is 13 divided by 2. So, we give us 6.5 and I'll mark. 6.5 and I'll add my 1 inch sewing allowance here and on the elbow line my elbow measurement is 11 inches 11 divided by 2 will give us 5.5 and I'll mark and then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance please make sure your measurement is not tight Make it loose, okay? So that you'll be able to bend your hand. So, I'll add one inch sewing allowance. At this point, 
which is my wrist area I'm going to take the measurements like this because it's not a stretchy material and what I have here is 9 inches so that by the time I want to wear it it will pass through do you understand? so 9 inches divided by 2 will give us 4.5 I'll come here and measure 4.5 and mark 1 inch for sewing allowance can you see? so I'm going to connect my point I'll connect to the elbow can you see what I have? so before I cut I'm going to fold in I'm going to fold in my 2 inches like this before I cut guys after cutting the next thing I'll be doing is to come here at this point I'm going to measure half inch so we can trim the front side I'll connect it like this and connect like this can you see so we are going to trim off this half inch and that side will be my front sleeve I'm going to trim it off like this So, can you see? This is the back and then this is the front. For us to be sure that this place is going to fit in very well on the armhole, we are going to measure it now. So, this is the front armhole. I'm going to measure it and I'll measure this one as well. So, we are going to measure following the curve like this. Like this. And here we have 9.5 inches. So, I'm going to measure the front side of the armhole. And we added 1 inch for allowance, which is here. I'll measure from this 1 inch. I'll measure following the curve like this you need to be sure that it will fit in can you see we have 9.5 inches just like we measured here 9.5 inches for the front armhole so for the back armhole I have 9 inches 9 inches for the back armhole I'll measure the back armhole from the 1 inch allowance as well I'm going to place my tape like so and here we have 9 inches so the sleeve is going to fit in very well on the uh, on the armhole do you understand so having done that the next step is for us to sew the sleeve if you have lining you make use of lining otherwise you just fold in you fold in your sewing allowance like this and I make a small fold here and stitch and this is what I'm going to do so I'll go over to the machine and fold like this and stitch after that I'm going to fold it again like this and I'll sew with my sewing allowance I added which is one inch so guys after stitching the sleeve this is what I have before you fix it to the top you need to trim off this side just place your scissors like this and trim and then you trim this side as well so I'm going to turn to the right side so this is what I have So this is the front part of the sleeve, this side, is shorter than the back side. When you want to put it on, it will go like this. Do you understand? Can you see? This is how it will look like. For me to fix the sleeve, like I said, this side 
this side that is shorter by half an inch will go for this side i'll just place my hand like this and i'll place the same side to match each other i'll just place it like this if you like you pin it all round so once i place it like this i'll place it on the machine so automatically this side will go for the back can you see and then this side will go for this other side so i'll go over to the machine to fix the sleeve and i'll be right back so guys i'm done fixing the sleeve and this is what i have here the sleeve is looking so nice go ahead and try it out let me know your results in the comment section so guys this is it for the cutting and sewing of the sleeve if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have not done that already so guys thank you so much for watching till next time i will see you again for now it is bye bye